Hi guys, it's Kaylin. Welcome to your scheduled stretch. Today is hips. This is a good one. It's also secondary lower back. So hit that area too. Let's start standing. Oh, let's just settle in. Spread the feet really wide. I have really wide feet, so I go really far. Push those toes into the mat. If you were in the room with me, we'd have a little bit of a quieter vibe for this, but I'm yelling, talking really fast, so let's just move our body. Some cat cows. Just move everything at first, down and up. Now the hips, we're just gonna really squeeze everything. Be mindful of every movement we make, just like the lower back. All right, drop those shoulders. Let's go side to side with the hip. Now don't pop it out, just nice shift. How does that feel? Check in with these muscles, your low back. All right, I'm gonna do this thing called a hip shift. So you're just gonna take one side, shift over and come back in. So just moving this joint this way, shifting to the toe, just a little bit. Play with that. Switch sides, toe. Shift your whole body. Just get everything mobile. Good. All right, you're gonna take this left side how big or how small is up to you. I'm gonna roll it back, tap it, bring it forward. This part of the body doesn't move. So if you just can do a little bit, that's okay. I'm just working on these rotators, back and forth. If you need to hold on to something, absolutely do that. Bend that bottom knee, just get the hip moving. Remember, that's the focus today, is the hip. Drop it right there, open and close it. Rotate right on that toe, don't move the rest of the body. We're just getting loose here. There's no load. All right, leave it open. Just lift it down and up. In yoga, you would do a tree pose. This is more mobility. All right, moving it, moving it, moving it. All right, nice. Switch sides. Nice, gentle brace, tight core. Bring it back. All right, how big or small is up to you. Just roll it. Don't move the rest of the body. How's that feel? Check in with your body. One more time. Tap it. External rotating. Just gonna mess with that area right in that lower back too. They all work together. Whew. One more. Leave it up. Lift it. Moving those hip joints. Everything else is completely stable. If you need to balance, that's fine with me. All right. All right. We're gonna come down now. If you want to sit for this, you can sit. We're gonna come down, bend our knees. Think about the hips. We're gonna rock back and forth here, look. All right, knees are not gonna to move too far, but it's okay in these type of practices. If your knees do the over the foot thing, there's no load on our body. It's like how we walk down the stairs. Now plant your hands, nice bent knees, and shift. How does that feel? If you hate it, don't do it. All right, we're gonna come right down to all fours. Now you can totally, instead of being on all fours, lean against a chair or something like this. This is the position we're gonna be in. All right, let's pick one leg here. Nice flat back. We're gonna take our leg bent, flex foot right to the sky, back in, and then to the side, not moving any other part of our body. So this is called a donkey kick and a high jump kick. We're just gonna kind of Move our hips and butt without that force that you would do on a leg exercise. So just moving the hip joint, mobile, right? Right there. See the difference? If we were exercising, we'd really want to squeeze and force it. We want to focus on the hip here. It's all about the mind muscle control. We need one more each side, then stop here. The knee's going to make a circle. How does that feel? Five outward and five inward. Now the rest of your body doesn't move. Let's switch sides. Bring it back, bring it side. As long as your core is tight, bring it back, bring it side. Remember the hips doing the motion here, the rest of the leg can kind of just follow. Here's three, here's four, here's five hips doing the work. Make it circles, five in. How's that feel? Is it hard? 
Get your butt sore. This is really good for a butt soreness. Four and five. Nice job. You're in tabletop. Push, shift back with your hips and come back. Just push back. Come up. Nice tight core. Think about the hips the entire time. Everything else is relaxed. Child's pose. Come on up again. That shifting is what's really going to work those hips, okay? It's a practice for good squats, too. Coming down in an even way. Now stay down. Come to your forearms. Just hang here for a sec. Now play with your knees. Can you open your knees and come back down? You feel the difference in that stretch? See my legs are? Feel the difference in that. You can kind of brace yourself with your arms. You don't have to reach out. That's a little more advanced. If that feels good, go for it. We're going to hang right here. The first time I'm guiding you to breathe. Now, if you were standing, you could take turns, kind of holding that leg sideways, just this motion. Now, we're going to come into frog, which is opening the legs. We're going to come really high. All right, so we're here. You can be as high as you can, this tucked in. Just give it a little, give it a little hang. Hang your back for it. Relax your shoulders if they're here. Bring them here. See how low you can go. Protect that back. How does that feel? If it's awful, come back to child's pose and wait. Gently bring the feet in first, and then the toes, knees, come on down. All right, nice job. Next, we're gonna take one leg up and pigeon. So here we go, we're gonna take this leg. Now you can keep your foot right underneath, sit on it. This back leg is straight, so let me face you. You're right here. More advanced is out like this. You're just gonna collapse. Now stay right there. I'm just gonna try to find a way that works for this video angle. How about this? <laughs> right here, relax. I know you can feel that in the hip. Shoulders away from the ear. Your foot is straight back. Again, you can play with this movement. It feels good to you. You're stretching this hip, but you're also stretching the bottom hip. Stay right here. Now brace your forearms, tighten your core, and get ready to bring that back leg in. Ready? On the exhale. You want to be really careful in that position. Now kick the other leg back. Find what works for you. Find what position works for you. Hi, I'm back. Right here, relax. If you're here, relax. Hang there. Three breaths. If you do this again at home, you can hold this for longer. This is a ridiculously awesome stretch. You're feeling that hip, I know you can. All right, ready? Brace yourself with your forearms. Roll the knee under, tight core. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. In child's pose, how'd that feel? Good job. All right, we're gonna play with some of these movements. Come on up on these toes. This is called a toe squat when you put your toes under. Reach out, come up and just open those hips. This is a low, secondary low back also. Opening here, stretching here. Two more movements. Shift the hips, squeeze the hips. And the purpose of these stretches is for you to pick which one you like the best. If you hate this one, don't do it as part of your practice. If you love it, child's pose. Add it in to your regular stretching rotation. That way you can pick your favorite parts of the body. Stay right there. All right, what are we doing now? All right, so a couple other moves we can do here is a runner's lunge. So you're gonna keep that back knee down. All right, is let, let can rock back and forth. Now I want your toe straight, okay? Because a flex foot really stretches the back of the leg. We're just gonna roll back and forth. How's your knees with this? Your hips are square. You can plant one hand and twist. All right, make sure that hip is leaning in. You can really just hold Reach your arms up. Whatever way you let you feel comfortable with, just don't overextend this hip back. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> and another knee back. If your knee bothers you, you can do this standing like a lunge. <sighs> Point. Rock. Mobility is a little bit better than a stretch. Plant that hand opposite way. 
Maybe do five of those with breath, but we're gonna move on. All right, inhale, exhale. Good job. Come on, child's pose. All right, you're gonna find your way to seated. This is the best way to stretch your hips. All right, check in. Check in with your hips. It's a good way to check in. Put your feet together. Clasp your hands. Push your toes together. All 10 toes are mirrored. Nice and tall first. Now ready? Look at your knees. Is one more flexible than the other? If it is, bring it up to meet the unflexible one so that you're even. And we'll work on flexibility of the other one. Keeping them even. Now rock up and sit up straight. This is where you can play with your neck. Down and up. All the other seated stretches you do for your other body parts, add them in. All right, right now we're going to take one hand, plant it in front, and twist. And we're going to push these hips down, not letting our legs move. Play with the arms. All right, as long as you're very careful. Unroll, other side, plant and plant, then roll. Right, Chin? Always movement, always movement. All right, you can also lean forward, more of a lower back to the side. Whatever you can do to make yourself more flexible. Now, cross those legs. Can you do this? Sometimes this is difficult. We're gonna lean forward. Stretching right here. So ready? I'm out like this. Here's how you would normally sit. Shoulders back, lean forward. Right here. You can lean on something. Flat back though. We're gonna practice like this. Chest to the floor. Oh, feels so good. All right. From right there, pretzels. Leave one. Knees forward. Cross the other one over it. How's that feel? If this feels awkward, super awkward, stay here. You're gonna feel it in this hip, but also in this one. It's a great stretch. Clasp your hands, sit nice and tall. If this is easy, more advanced is to add a little bit of a twist and a pull. Always very tall. Hips are like the best body part to stretch in the whole wide world. We could sit here for hours. Let's switch, so knee come down first. This is my less flexible knee, I'm gonna really wanna Pay attention to that. Try to cross as tall as you can. If that's as much as you can do, great. Nice and tall. Try to relax that bottom hip. Check in with your body. Now do these every day and they will improve. I'm noticing myself twisting much more than I used to. And don't get confused. Even though I've done fitness for years, stretching is extremely new to me. We'll do it together. All right. Nah. Knees bent. All right, this is a this is a good one. I'm gonna roll down. Oh, roll down. I think you could better see me from the side, so I'm here. Pretend the couch isn't there. All right, toes are together. Knees are gonna open. You're gonna hold right here. Press your back into the mat. Just hang. We have not breathed. I'm gonna turn again. Pull one knee in. Now this is important here, press your bottom hip down. While this one's tight, pass it off. It depends on your flexibility, how far you can go. If you can twist, it's more of a back stretch. If you can open, everything you do, keep that core tight, okay? Round circles, switch. Point first, then bring it up. Pull it in, push this one, roll it, pass it off, tight core. Tight core, tight core, tight core. Think about it. All right, bring that leg up. Figure four stretch, ready? Tight core, loose hip. Think about it. Bring it up. If you can't bring it up, that's okay. As long as you need to hold Typically, you need to hold for 30 seconds for a real stretch. This is more of a mobility flow. Checking in with your body, seeing what's sore. Tight core, loose hip. Pull it up. Typically, you want to hold for three breaths. In and out when you're alone in a nice, quiet room. Not when you're trying to look at this video. All right, bring the nose, knees in. Active knees right here. Push the back in. Twist side to side. Lower back and hip. 
This is good for digestion. Plant them. So I'm going to show you this from this angle. Drop one knee and roll back and forth. How does that exercise feel? Fancy. That was fancy. Could you even see that? Sorry. Open, close. How does this feel with your hips? Some stuff may be awful. Some stuff may be fantastic. All right. Ready? Plant those feet. This is hard. Push yourself. <laughs> Get up. Oh, open those legs. Hang. You can do a deep side lunge right here. More of a hip and leg stretch. Roll. Plant those feet. Come on up. How you feel? Yeah? Round and round. All right, do some cat cows. Just level everything out. Deep breath. See you next time for a scheduled stretch.